Hey guys, this is Rayo at Phone Arena. I'm here at MWC 2014. Right now I'm uh, taking a look at the Galaxy S5, of course the start of the show, and I'm going to compare this bad boy to its larger sibling, the Galaxy Note 3. So let's get started. Uh, taking a look at how these two devices uh, look, we can see a pretty common theme here, especially on the front with these elongated cone buttons available on both. Though the difference between the two is that on the Galaxy S5 here we have a fingerprint scanner also. So uh, it can be used for unlocking your device, for accessing private content or uh, for authorizing PayPal purchases. Now, uh, other than that, you can see that both devices look pretty much uh, very, very similar though the Galaxy S5 is somewhat more round here. Uh, now, let's check out the back side of the phone. This is, this is, a, new, this is a new pattern that Samsung is introducing uh, with the Galaxy S5. It's, it's calling it a glam look. Uh, and to tell you the truth, we really like it. It really uh, feels soft and nice and uh, nice to the touch. It has this dotted pattern here which nicely captures the light and creates this interesting effect. Whereas on the Galaxy Note 3, uh, you can see Samsung's uh, folks leather uh, design with uh, stitches here around uh, the edges. Uh, you know, it's a design that Samsung uh, uses for some of its uh, devices and even tablets. Uh, we almost thought that Galaxy S5 will also use this type of texture, but Hopefully, hopefully, oh my god, Samsung has, uh, has gone uh, for this glam look here instead in the last minute. Uh, and, uh, it's, you know, in my opinion, at least it's the much better texture. Now, um, in terms of displays, the Galaxy S5 comes with a uh, 5.1-inch Super AMOLED screen with 1080p resolution, uh, same as on the Note uh, 3, though the Note 3 is significantly larger with its 5.7-inch screen. Uh, so both are extremely large. You know, obviously, if you need as much screen as you can get, as well as handwriting, uh, uh, recognition because that is what the signature feature of the Galaxy Note 3 is, you know, the SP stylus for note taking and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, then you obviously have to side with the Galaxy Note 3. Uh, but uh, in uh, most other cases, uh, we think that the 5.1 inch display of the Galaxy S5 will be just fine, uh, you know, for most usage uh, scenarios out there. Uh, we can't be sure yet if there are any improvements to the display technologies here, uh, to display tech on the Galaxy S5. It's Super AMOLED, you know, the Note 3 uh, has al also has a Super AMOLED screen, which, uh, which was better than the one in the Galaxy S4. So hopefully the, the GS5 will also step things up even, uh, even more in this regard. Um, it should be able to get very, very right at uh, up to 500 nits and very dim as well uh, uh, down to about two nits of brightness which would make it very um, you know very uh, comfortable to view in dark um, in dark places such as you know when you go to bed and you want to read a book or watch uh, a video or something like that, it's going to make it more comfortable for your eyes. Uh, now, in terms of user interface, uh, there are some slight differences here, uh, but uh, uh, what we're especially uh, glad to report is that Samsung has uh, finally decided to tweak its user uh, interface and touch with UI in the Galaxy S5, and this time uh, I really have to say that it's in the right direction. It's thrown, uh, the, the manufacturer has toned things down. 
that's the, okay that's the bottom line that's uh, by the way the new settings menu it's completely new and also completely different from the rest of the user interface so I don't know a bit of an inconsistency there but still it's okay I think um, some new uh, transition effects going on here when switching between home screen pages and things like that uh, but uh, you know icons are now flatter um, colors are not so overly saturated They're, they seem to be more, more toned down though this is still a super AMOLED display so you can expect it's um, viewing quality to be quite, you know, exaggerated probably in some scenarios, but it also depends on the, uh, on the exact setting that you set it to. From the settings menu display, you can turn off uh, that display and then uh, select your uh, desired preferences. Professional photo for me, please, because, you know, it tends to provide the most uh, true-to-life colors. Uh, higher. Now, um, when it comes to features under the hood, uh, the Galaxy S5 is powered by the Snapdragon 801 chipset, so it is, it should be slightly faster than the Galaxy Note 3 in its excellent Snapdragon 800 chipset. So it should have a slightly faster CPU, but the graphical, uh, the, the graphics chip the GPU should also be faster, uh, the, uh, about 30% as Qualcomm says. So it's still the Adreno 330 uh, GPU, but uh, you know it should perform faster than the Adreno 330 in the Galaxy Note 3. Uh, so that's good. It has two gigs of RAM. Uh, you know, it has different uh, memory variations here, but also, of course, it also has a micro as the uh, card slot for additional storage space, which is always uh, welcome. A cool new feature, as we said, is the fingerprint scanner, which is absent on the Note 3, though it counters that with a uh, S Pen, kind of. And then another new feature is the new S Health application, which I guess at some point the Note 3 is also going to receive. Uh, but um, that's not that's not uh, the point here. The point is that the Galaxy S5 also has an integrated heart rate monitor here next to the LED flash, which allows you to uh, check your heart rate, you know, just by touching uh, your f your finger here. And I'll give it a shot right now. It's my first time, so let's see what happens. Heart rate, and now place your finger on the sensor, like this, I guess. Measuring, do not move. Okay. We might not be able to shoot that part. We might not use it from the other footage that you shot yesterday. Yeah. But you can, you know, you can have it on because it looks pretty. Yeah, absolutely. You in. Okay, so uh, woo, that's a fast, a fast heart rate, 112. Let me give it another shot this time. I will not be talking and will not be moving so much so that uh, we can see what happens uh, if we try this way. Okay, so uh, it's about the same this time. So that is the heart rate. Uh, sensor for you, you know, that's something that you're not getting certainly with the uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 3. Uh, it's a cool feature within for both athletes and normal people as well because, come on, you need to know your heart rate. Uh, so uh, let's shift gears now and uh, access the cameras on these two devices. Uh, the new camera on the Galaxy S5 uh, comes with 16 megapixels. Um, and it has a bunch of cool tricks up its sleeve, uh, you know, it, first of all it has uh, face detection autofocus which is a new, uh, you know, uh, an industry first kind of for smartphones. Um, it also has an extremely fast focusing mode of just uh, 0 0.3 seconds, it, it uh, autofocuses extremely fast. Uh, the user interface has also been simplified here, you just have the basic uh, the basic and most useful shooting modes left but if you will you can still uh, add additional ones here 
Here are the settings of the Galaxy S5 camera. It's a decent settings menu. Uh, a new feature as well is that you can shoot 4K video Ultra HD, which is also available with the Galaxy Note 3 over here, and it's 13. Uh, it's 13 megapixel. Um, camera. However, one thing that's not available on the Galaxy Note over here is real-time HDR. And what this does is to let you see uh, what the uh, HDR picture is going to look uh, before you have even taken it. So I'm activating HDR here. Uh, actually, I've turned it off. So you see the uh, the scene is rather dark right now. I'm, I'm turning on uh, real-time HDR. And now you can see how everything just got brighter, especially uh, there in the background as well. Uh, so uh, it enables you to, uh, to shoot nice high dynamic range images. Uh, and it's very easy and it's also available in burst shot mode. So you can quickly create a series of uh, high dynamic range uh, photos. Yeah, so guys, uh, some, thanks for watching yeah, our uh, it's, it's comparison yeah, between the uh, Galaxy S5 and the Galaxy Note 3 here. Check us out at phonearena.com if you'd like to learn more about the new Samsung Galaxy S5. We have tons of coverage.